Hello everyone, in this session, or this class, whatever you call it, uh, we're going to take very simple message of Laplace of this function. Of, of t, this is equal to minus one over n with respect to the derivative. Okay, ds over n. So derivative over the less. So if we know Laplace of f of t, we can apply this rule. So for example, let's put just in quick question okay right there the last transform of t sine t okay t sine t do we know Laplace transform of this yes we know Laplace transform of t sine omega t is equal to omega which is 1 over s square plus omega square okay so this is equal to now we know Laplace of the function so t or the power of 1 we know n there is just 1 okay so it's going to be minus 1 over 1 we apply the, this rule if you know Laplace of f of t this is f of t this is a 15. If you know Laplace of f of t, f of t, this is a 15. Okay? Whatever you call it, take this or take this. It depends on if you know Laplace of it. If you know Laplace of sine t, then take it and apply the rule. Multiply by t to the power of n, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Then you're going to apply this rule. Minus 1 over n. n here is 1. So 1. Derivative. Okay. Power of 1 is 1. Okay. Derivative. Also 1 is 1. So you're going to just make the derivative of this. F of s. This is f of s. I'm going to put right there. So 1 over s square plus 1. Very simple. Okay. So minus there and derivative this. So very simple. You just can simplify it as if you say s square plus 1 to the power of minus 1. Can you, make, can you get the derivative of this? Yes, for sure. Let's take, let's get it let's have it together. So the derivative of this put the power down then s square plus one minus the power minus one. So minus one minus one. Then multiply by the inner the inner function with respect to s. So this is 0, this is 2s. So the whole function is this. So we have 1 over s square plus 1 over 2 or okay 1 over s square plus 1 all square and then we have 2s, so 2s. So this is the solution. And so on. Okay? So if you have t to the power of n and you know the Laplace transform of f of t, you can apply this rule. And derivative. Okay? Do you want to take another example? I feel that you want to take another example. Let's take another example. Okay, we just remove the sign is cosine. 
Okay, just to make it easy, just another example. The same example, okay? Cosine 2t. Okay, very well. So we still have 1 is right, 1, 1, 1. So Laplace of cosine to t, are we going to make it? Just look at this. Think with me. Oh, I don't know the answer. Okay. Laplace of cosine to t actually is omega. Sorry, s, yes, over s square plus omega square. Omega is 2. So 2 square. 2 square equal 4. So this is the answer. Then you're going to take it and put it to the derivative right there. So we're going to just remove this one. And then we're going to take this one, put it there. Then you dra you dra make the derivative of this uh, function. So there's no problem. If you know the Laplace transform of this function, and then you have multiplied by t to the power of n, you apply the rule, and that's it. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next video.